Feyenoord. Will fight for the bronze, but Rodriguez will fight Joe of China for the gold medal. It's all done and dusted pretty quick, also inside the first 30 seconds. Well, let's see who we've got uh, coming up on map number one now. Alexander Kosinov of the Ukraine faces Matthias Krieger of Germany. That's in the uh, under 81 kilo category, the second of the uh, semi finals. Kosinov in the white judogi from the Ukraine. Krieger in. Uh, Blue representing Germany. There's no score in the contest between Vasquez of Spain and Efron of Argentina. That's the uh, the other semi-final in the under 81 kilo category on mat two, and uh, there's, there's four minutes left of that particular contest. We're about to get underway here with this um, semi-final, the first of the semi-finals. The second one is on uh, map two, why don't we do that? And then we've got the first on map one and the second on map two. That seems like a nice bit of symmetry there. Well, we're underway and both fighters move over to the far left corner to begin the action. Krieger looking to go left-sided and uh, moving nicely Kosayev Kosinov beg your pardon looking uh, for a little bit of assistance from the referee to get back to the middle of the mat where he can take hold and they can uh, begin again and the referee calls Hajime and this time they move to the um, middle uh, far side where um, Krieger turns back in having heard the, uh, the Jogai call and uh, the referee calls again Jogai just to warn them that they're on the, uh, the red danger area trying to see if he can uh, encourage them to uh, come back into the uh, middle of the map but they don't and they uh, wander out and the referee calls Mate and then brings both fighters back into the, uh, into the middle Efron, uh, Jose Efron has scored Wazari on map two against um, Abel Vasquez of Spain and he leads by Wazari now with three minutes and 12 seconds left in that contest. Both fighters are, are back in the middle now. Kosinov and Krieger and they immediately slide their way over to the far right corner now where Krieger and Kosinov exchange foot sweeps or as she was a four minutes and uh, five seconds left uh, on the on the clock both fighters moving nicely and uh, Jose Efron has thrown Abel Vasquez a second time now Wazari Awazeti upon and it's the Argentinian who will go into the final So we know that um, Efron is going to be there. Vasquez can go to fight uh, for the bronze medal. So Krieger and Kosinov, they won't be aware of um, Efron's win, but that's who one of these is going to have to fight. Kosinov collects a passivity warning. He isn't penalised yet, but just warned with three minutes and 44 seconds left uh, on the clock. First of the semi-finals still underway here. And uh, both fighters wander off to the far side where um, Krieger 
attempts a tire toshi that fails and that allows his Ukrainian opponent Kosinov to begin to attack in Nevaza, but it doesn't look as though anything's going to come of that particular exchange so the referee calls Mate stands the pair up and then brings them back to the middle where they are now and where they begin to um, take proper posture, uh, posture and then um, look for an appropriate hold the referee invites them to um, take hold and when he's happy with everything, he calls Hajimi, which he does now, and they get back underway and move immediately off to the far right side of the um, competition area. The corner judge in that corner picks up his chair and makes room for them, but they are moving too quickly, and there uh, isn't enough room over there, and they wander off the mat, making the uh, referee call Mate and uh, inviting the fighters to come back to the middle. And now it's Krieger who picks up a passivity warning as well as Kosinov and uh, the result of that second warning is that uh, is a penalty against Kosinov so it's Krieger who leads now by Yuko with three minutes and 17 seconds left to go the um, Argentinian Efron awaits the winner of this match he's in the in the final already and um, the Ukrainian, as both fighters move quickly, attempts uh, Yoko Satemiwaza, but uh, Krieger has the awareness as he goes through the air to turn onto his front, and uh, there's no score. Onel of uh, Turkey now is in his um, contest against Briceno of Italy, uh, sorry, uh, uh, of Venezuela. Briceno of uh, Venezuela on map number two, and that's in the under 73 kilo category that's the repechage final the winner of this will fight for bronze and there's no um, there's, there's just the uh, the Yuko score to Briceno that's the state of play on mat two in the repechage final on mat number two the winner of that contest will fight for the bronze medal 440 left in that contest we've got two minutes and 59 seconds left on mat number one and it's Krieger, Matthias Krieger of Germany in the blue judogi leading uh, against Alexander Kosinov of the Ukraine in uh, white. The referee calls Hajime and they get back underway, but they both move quickly to the far side and right to the edge of the mat, and the referee calls uh, Mate. They really need to use the, the middle of the mat. That would be a far better option. Far too many times they've wandered over to the far side. And now Krieger picks up a passivity warning, which levels the scores. A Yuko apiece. Now, scores tied at one Yuko each with two minutes and 51 seconds left to go. They're standing in the middle of the map as the referee calls Mate, and the Ukrainian attempts as she was, but again they wander off. Uh, off to that far side and now they're in the far left corner with Krieger trying a, a left Harai Goshi but that fails and he collapses to his knees and so does um, Kosinov and the referee calls Mate stands them up and then brings them back to the, uh, the to the middle of the mat two minutes and 41 seconds left on the clock and uh, power beginning to drain from both the fighters noticeably or more noticeably so from the uh, fast tiring Kosinov. Krieger was so um, set uh, when he came back against Pereira of Brazil and he showed that he's got the staying power. I wonder if he's going to do the same thing here. He was down initially against Kosinov and there was the um, warning which level the scores up two minutes and 25 seconds to go both fighters have already been warned and now and now Krieger acknowledges the fact that he's been given another penalty this time for stepping out of the area they've, they've both been going out of the area far too uh, regularly and one of them was going to get penalized and it's Krieger Krieger needs to stay inside to do his work he gets caught there and Yuko it is 
that scored with that Yoko Sutemi Waza by um, the Ukrainian Kosinov. There should be now two Yukos on the board for um, the Ukrainian. I oh, know because the one was a penalty. That's right. That that penalty one went up to Wazari and now there's a Wazari and a Yuko. Quite right, my mistake there. When um, when the penalties go up, then that went from Yuko to Wazari. So Wazari is the lead for the Ukrainian. Ojigari attempted there from. Um, that's going to be Wazari Awazeti Ipon and that'll finish off the contest. It's Wazari Awazeti Ipon. Right, we just um, lost track of exactly how many Wazaris had been scored there, but it was Wazari Awazeti Ipon. Soromare will be the call. And, um, and now Kosinov is awarded the contest. Krieger steps over to um, give a hug and a handshake. And then the um, escorts, the two corner judges, move in to assist Kosinov and um, Krieger off the mat.